Hello you guys and welcome back. This is Stella and in today's video I'm going to talk to you not about makeup but about hair. So we're going to have some quick and easy hairstyles that are so easy and quick to wear during summer season that everything is so so hot and being a girl living in Greece I truly truly know that because three out of the four seasons is tremendously hot. So yeah, let's get this video started. <laughs> Okay, so what you guys will need for those hairstyles are just some hair dyes, a couple of them, and some hair clips, some tiny cute hair clips. Uh, so that's gonna be all. And it is also optional to use some dry shampoo, or if you have hair that are a bit sparse uh, in this region or somewhere else, you can simply use you can simply use some root retoucher like that. Uh, this is from Smart Cup, also Vela has one, and I believe other brands too. So let's get this started. For the first hairstyle, we're going to do a messy bun. This is the absolute go-to, and I love, I love this. So what you're going to need is uh, you don't have to brush your hair or anything like that. You just have to take them all into your home. Oh, so hot in here. You just have to grab them all. I usually take some string, some strands of hair from its side. I find it very appealing. So yeah, you just stick them all in a big, beautiful ponytail and secure it with a hair tie. Secure it very tightly. All right. If you have very uh, thick hair. You can use two hair ties all at once in order to secure them better. So, once you have them right here, of course you can just keep them like that if you want to have this kind of messy ponytail. It will give you some height, it will give you some, you know, cuteness. That. <laughs> anyway, I still have uh, my hair onto my shoulders and I hate that during summer, so I just take them and twist them, but since I have secured them here, I don't need to twist them that much in order to secure them. So I twist them just a tiny bit. I just take them all the way around, all the way here. And I just completely turn this like that, give it this a twist. This also depends on how long your hair is, but mine is pretty long. I just secured this one with one or two hair clips. Do it as far as it goes. <laughs> so now I'm gonna just kind of start pulling and making it more appealing. We want this to be messy, so we just mess with this. And of course, uh, some also, some other hairs like that. You can actually just pull this hair, the front hair, more like that, and all right, that should do it. I want to give you a spin, and this is the hair from the front. This is the hair from the side, and that's the hair from the back. You guys like these messy hairstyles, but I love them. It's just my go-to. This will keep you surely away from sweating from your hair. And let's go to the second one. All right, so that's my variation of a messy bun. It's quite similar, but so different in the same way. So let's just show you. You simply take your hair again like that. You don't need to mess about. Uh, you don't need to fuss about them being very even. Just grab them like this and take a hair tie and you will go with it one and on the second twist you're gonna drag your hair up to the middle of them so you're gonna have something like that you can totally leave it up to this point because I like it also but 
Uh, what I do, what I usually do, just to secure it a bit more, is I take all this hair and I just, I don't know if you can see, I just take the two ends, the two edges, the two ends, and I just secure them. I kind of like it like that. Maybe I should not, I should not do anything. Kind of like it. Let me show this to you. This is this from the front, from the side, and from the back. You can totally leave it up to here. Or uh, what I usually do to secure it a bit more is just take the two ends and just secure them with a clip right on the other hair that I have, and you go with something like that gives you height it gives you it gives you space to move and it won't go anywhere throughout the day uh, what you can also do here is just take some baby hairs and just you know put them here and there but what you can also do is just take the rest of the hair and twist them and twist them like this once or twice I don't know if you can actually see what I've done here. It's this crown and my hair strands going around and around. And I truly find this hairstyle very uh, appropriate to wear to weddings or things like that that I want to look elegant but still don't put much effort onto my hair or hair onto my shoulders, if you know what I mean. So yeah. At this point, I would like to tell you that uh, what I was talking about previously with the sparse hair, I have sparse hair here, so I just take this red retoucher and I will probably take um, a tissue or a cotton pad or something like that and I will just have it like here. Let me show you. I will have it like here, right here, so that I don't spray it onto my face. And I will start spraying. And immediately you can see the difference. I mean, hello. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, let me do this for the other side too. Just be careful because if you put it too close to your hair, uh, it's going to leave such a straight line that you don't want to. <laughs> Alright, so let's just do it like that. I don't use too much. You can use it here uh, if your hairline is going up way higher than you want. But I use it only on the sides and it gives me much of a difference. So, that's the hairstyle finished. Have I shown you the back of it? Side of it. Let's show you. This is the hair cell in front. On the side. And on the back. I literally hope that these look good on the back because I haven't seen them. I never see my hair with a mirror. No, I, I just don't. So let, let's just undo this and I will quickly show you. I will quickly show you a lower bun that also is very convenient. Alright, for this third hairstyle you'll just need to brush your hair a bit uh, up on top of your scalp so that you have them all nice and straight. And I will do a middle part for this. So let me just have them like that. And this is going to be a low bun. So. The good thing with this one, the Kardashian bang, if you will, uh, is that you can take your hair and lower them as much as you want. So you can have them up here, see, or you can have them down here. And you can totally alter your hairline or your forehead size. So we'll just lower this from this side too. You can totally leave some hair 
here and there. It's going to be a bit more elegant this way, I guess. So yeah, you just tighten them, give them some brushing. And for this one, I'm going to take a big one of those and I'm going to secure it. Of course, again, you can totally leave it here at a low, low ponytail. How do they call that? So yeah, you can give it uh, a try and leave it here. It's very good, looking good. But other than that, you can just give your hair a twist again. And again, secure with a bobby pin or a hair tie, a clip, not a hair tie, or a hair clip. So this is how I do it. So appropriate for summer and elegant. This is how it is, how it looks. I have a black to end it here, just because I love tiny hairs here and there, but you can totally just take it and hide it somewhere and just have it like that. All right, so this is the front, the side, and the back. Okay, you guys, so this was my three go-to hairstyles with the Arcanaissons, and I hope you enjoyed them. I find this very helpful during summer, and I just, you will see me in these hairstyles or in my hair all down and sweating like a bitch so yeah hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will see you in the next one bye